You are correct. We are still talking about it. So while we are talking about JoJo's rebrand, let's also talk about this. About a month ago, Rolling Stone published an article from Angie and Leah Sanderson. Leah was in a girl group that JoJo and her mother Jessalyn founded called XOMG Pop. And they are alleging that JoJo and her mother Jessalyn treated them like trash. The bubbly pop group was an initial lineup ranging from ages 8 to 14. It was formed by JoJo and her momager Jessalyn through a reality TV competition called Siwa's Dance Pop Revolution. The Sandersons, who is the family that's speaking out against JoJo and Jessalyn, saying they were subject to insults from Jessalyn and JoJo, grueling rehearsal schedules, and a cutthroat environment that pitted young contestants against each other. JoJo Siwa is being accused of basically turning into Abby Lee Miller. A new article by the Rolling Stone is expected exposing the truth behind JoJo and her mother Jessalyn's girl group XOMG Pop. In 2021, JoJo and Jessalyn starred in this reality show, Siwa's Dance Pop Revolution. The show chronicled JoJo and Jessalyn putting together a girl group that was poised to inherit JoJo Siwa's candy-colored multi-million dollar empire. They called the group XOMG Pop and their brand is targeted at the children teen demographic. The group started out with seven members and in the last year and a half, four of the original members have left. And now former member Leah and her mother Angie have spoken to Rolling Stone saying the girls were mistreated, they were overworked, and they were subjected to verbal abuse by Jessalyn and Jojo. They claim that as their mentor, Jojo pitted the girls against each other. And they also claim unfair pay. So they said that group members had to pay out of pocket for a lot of things, and they were not fairly compensated for brand deals and merchandise sales. One of the most shocking allegations is related to Leah's spina bifida. She had health complications that led her to start bleeding out of her belly button during a performance. And Jessalyn allegedly told her to put a maxi pad on her belly button so she didn't bleed through her costume as opposed to checking in on her and telling her to rest. Jojo and Jessalyn did not personally respond to Rolling Stone about these allegations, but their lawyer did saying that they are 100% false. Canceled shows, disappearing members, and shocking allegations of exploitation, the cracks are showing in the XOMG pop facade. Remember Jojo's own troubled past on Dance Moms? History seems to be repeating itself, and this time it's the kids who are paying the price. I genuinely do not understand how the whole internet isn't swarming Jojo Siwa and her mum right now after what's been revealed in this article. It all started with a dream, a chance for young girls to shine, but behind the glitter and the catchy tunes, a dark truth is bubbling up. Is this the end of XOMG pop or just the beginning of a reckoning? Is Jojo Siwa becoming the villain she once swore to fight against? We'll get to the bottom of it all, but one thing's for sure, XOMG pop won't be silenced. Stay tuned, because the truth is about to drop. Remember Jojo's time on Dance Moms? It seems history might be repeating itself, but this time she's in charge. Was Jojo a supportive mentor, or did her past experiences turn her into a demanding leader, especially with alleged reports of bullying, manipulation, and a relentless pursuit of fame at any cost? One by one, talented members like Leia and Kaya leave the group under mysterious circumstances. There are disturbing stories of alleged exploitation and a toxic environment. Is XOMG Pop a recipe for disaster, or can they overcome the drama and deliver on their promise? Only time will tell, but one thing's for sure. The future of the group is hanging by a thread. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think XOMG Pop can survive? And don't forget to like and subscribe for more juicy pop culture exposés.